Today we are in section 7.6 percent applications. Um, it sounds kind of fancy, doesn't it? Percent applications. <laughs> yes. All right. Basically, what we're learning today is a really, really practical, real life, everyday type of lesson. Um, we're learning about markups, discounts, sales tax, tips, finding original amount. That'll probably be in part two of this lesson. Um, but this is stuff that we deal with on a daily basis. We buy things that are on sale. How many people love a good sale? You like a good sale? Absolutely. Why pay full price if you can find a, the same or a similar product for a lesser price? Or how many of you have waited to buy whatever object, think of it, you know, electronics or whatever, because you knew that it was going to go on sale at some point, right? Mm -hmm. So we wait, we hold out, we wait for the sale. So that's a very practical every day, how to figure out what the new price is going to be based on a sale. Um, and then markups, whether you realize it or not, whenever you participate, and we'll just kind of use a big picture example here, in our economy, the way that our economy works well, with businesses and consumers and retail, uh, we purchased products that are marked up. We're not paying what the business paid to acquire that product. You guys know that, right? Like, So, you know, Best Buy, when they acquired that TV from Samsung, they buy directly from the manufacturer. They paid a certain amount, and then they mark it up and sell it to you for what we call the retail price. You don't have access. You can't just call Samsung up and be like, hey, I want to buy a TV. They're going to say, find one of our retailers that sell it at the retail price. That's what keeps our economy really beating. That's the heart of our economy is just that whole concept of supply and demand and, um, and uh, consumers and that type of thing. So that's where we're going with the lesson today. Uh, in example one, it does give us uh, three scenarios. They're all this, the same scenario, basically, just different numbers. We're going to do the first and the third one. But basically, um, these are those carts that you see, like, on the side of the road. Or maybe if you're in New York City, there's vendors all over the place up there. That's kind of what I picture when I read this example is New York City, like these little shops and carts and things like that on the street corners that you can purchase. So this is a street vendor. And they buy the bracelet from a manufacturer for $7 each. They turn around and mark up the price by 150%. What is the retail price? So wholesale price is what they pay. Retail price is what you pay. The difference is what you call a markup. Or it's also known as profit. It's their profit. The markup is their profit. And we're not talking okay so it's a two-step process the first step is to take the original price and to multiply it by the percentage seven times wait do I multiply it by a hundred and fifty when I multiply a percent by a number what do I have to do to it change it to a decimal you guys remember that okay and find that amount all right, so zero. All right, so seven times one point five gives me how much? Ten dollars and fifty cents. But that's not the retail price. That's their profit. That's the markup. So in step two, I take my original price and I add it to the amount of the markup, and that gives me retail price. Okay. Now, what did I forget in my answer? I forgot my dollar sign, and you are going to lose points for that, okay? Anytime it's money, you need to talk in terms of money. So don't say 17.5. Inevitably, every year I have someone put, for example, in this answer, 17.5. And while some of those numbers are correct and the values are correct, that's not in dollar form, so it's not going to be right, okay? Uh, no, it would be wrong. Now, if you forgot the dollar sign, but you put 17.50, I might count off two points. But if you put 17.5, it would definitely be wrong, okay? So um, go ahead and do the third one on your own. All right, so now the bracelets um, cost a different amount of money. You still have a markup. Go ahead and find the retail price. 
Okay, so now it's just the same thing, except it's five dollars and fifty cents mm -hmm. times one point five, which gives me how much? Eight twenty-five. Yeah, eight dollars and twenty-five cents. And then you're going to what do you do now on step two? Add five. Okay, and I don't care if you don't have the dollar signs here. Okay, as long as you've got it in the answer. Was it thirteen seventy-five? Right. Hey, do you guys know how you could do this mental math? Okay. Can you add the cents? What's 50 plus 25? 75. And then 5 plus 8 is 13. So you just put them together. All right. Um, okay. Example 2 now. Discounts. All right, when we're talking about a discount, um, a discount is going to be calculated uh, in a lot of the same way as a markup is calculated, except um, when you buy something discounted, are you going to pay more or less than the original price? Less. Now you're going to pay less. With a markup, you pay more than the original price or the wholesale price, all right, because the companies have to make money. Uh, with a discount, you're going to pay less. So give me some things that you would pay a discount for or that you would look for a discount. Kayla? Groceries. Okay, groceries. Yeah, a lot of times buy one, get one free. TJ? Um, when you buy a used item like clothes or games. Okay, yeah, buying used items, you're looking at it discounted off the original. You're not going to buy a T-shirt that's been worn for two years for the same price that it is brand new, right? Same thing with a car or anything oh, else. Yeah. Okay, um, so discounts, all right? So let's look at example two, finding sale price. You buy an electronic organizer that's on sale for 15% off the original price. What is the sale price? Okay, so step one is still the same, like we just said. You need to find the percentage of the original amount. Okay, so you've got the original amount of $25 times what? What would I multiply it by? 0 0.15. 0 0.15. I've got to change the percent to a decimal. That will give me the sale amount or the discount. That's not the new price, but that will tell me how much money it is off. And then we can use that. Okay. So, um, what's that amount going to be? Three dollars and seventy-five cents. And what do you do with that? What do you, you do? With subtract that? it from the original. Very good. You subtract it from the original amount to find your sale price. Twenty-one dollars and twenty-five cents. Example three. Has anybody ever eaten in a restaurant? What do you always give the waiter? You always give them a tip. And when you're, when you're eating out, you also, guys, when you're eating out, you also have to pay a sales tax. Basically, that's the business passing along the tax that they have to pay to the state of Florida to you. Okay? They take that and they pass it right along to the state of Florida. All right, so bill for your restaurant meal is $78. That's a pretty typical bill for like a family of four or five. If you're going to Olive Garden, Carabas, Outback, any of those places, that's probably, yeah, Red Lobster. Okay, so if your bill, your food is $78, that's not how much you're paying. You've got to now take that $78, pay your tip on top of that, pay your tax on top of that. So we need to figure out what's the total cost for your bill. It's going to be three steps. Step one, how much is the tip? Wait, where did I get 0.17 from? That's 17% as a decimal. Okay. Then I do the same thing. Oh. Yep. Then I've got to do the same thing to 7% for the sales tax. All right. Go ahead and find the tip, and then we'll go, and then we'll find the sales tax. Okay, so we figured out the tax is $13.26. You might say, well, I really want to save the money. $13 is a big, uh, you know, tip. Well, you also ordered a lot of food. There's a lot of drinks to refill. You need to give them a fair tip. 
All right, and then 78 times. Did you do 0. 0.07? Did you remember the zero? Okay, because if you do 0. 0.7, that's actually 70%. 70 and um, now while your waiter would love you to give a 70% tip, 7% tax is really what we're dealing with here. So make sure it's practical. That's $5.46. When you add them all together, what did you get for your total food bill? What did you get? Yeah, about a hundred bucks for that meal. It's a lot of money. Okay. All right. So really all three of these examples really kind of gelling together around this whole main concept of taking the original amount, multiply it by a percentage, and then find your new amount. Um, and that's going to wrap it up for part one of section 7.6. We are going to do one example tomorrow, but I feel like it is in many ways very different from the first three examples so i'm going to spend a little more time on that one tomorrow um and then uh we'll wrap up the rest of the chapter later this week